President Biden and presumptive Republican nominee Donald Trump have now agreed to two debates. The first will take place in June, followed by a debate right here on ABC in September. Let's bring in ABC News White House correspondent Mary Alice Parks for more on this sort of developed over the morning uh, as we, we were talking to each other, Mary Alice. Uh, there was a lot of back and forth between Biden and Trump leading up to this, some of it on social. Uh, how did we get here? Yeah, Phil, what a morning. Uh, we woke up this morning. We weren't sure that we were going to have any debates uh, in this general election. We had two candidates pointing fingers at each other. Uh, former President Trump saying that Biden wasn't going to debate him. Biden saying he didn't trust that Trump would follow the rules. Both candidates had really rejected the idea of debating through uh, the Commission on Presidential Debates. That's kind of the formal consortium that had put on debates for the last several decades. Uh, so, look, we had a lot of reporters, myself included, who were really skeptical about whether we would see these two men actually on a debate stage together. But all that has changed very quickly this morning. I mean, we saw President Biden come out and really lay down his terms. He said that he wanted a debate with no audience. He wanted it done uh, sort of man to man and uh, not through the, the consortium that that Commission on Presidential Debates, but through just um, a television broadcast network. And so really within a matter of hours, like you said, we now have both candidates agreeing to two debates in June and September. I think you've been saying it really right all morning, Phil, that this is good news for voters who will be able to hear um, the two men break down the policy issues at stake in this election. Yeah, it, it was really it was really upsetting to kind of think that you'd have these two men running for president and we wouldn't see them uh, debate yeah. issues. But that's that's now apparently not going to happen if these two debates uh, uh, do happen. I know you can't see into the future, Mary Alice, but you are a White House correspondent, so you study these things way better than most and, and, and more intensely. What do you think we're going to see at these debates? Do you think we'll see some substantive discussions? Well, I think that that is definitely President Biden's objective. It's interesting to me how he was so uh, able to set really the terms of these debates. I, obviously, Trump likes the idea of an audience. He often feeds off an audience, has made uh, these debates more of kind of a ruckus circus-like event than other candidates. But President Biden said he wasn't interested in that. He was only agreeing to debate if there would be no audience, if it could be uh, essentially what that means is a calmer affair. I mean, he laid out in his announcement today that he wanted to break down real substantive issues issues like uh, reproductive health policy, the economy, um, energy policy. I think that President Biden is looking for something that is more policy driven. What's interesting to me when you actually picture sort of visually, if it is just a studio with an anchor or two anchors and two candidates, will they be seated or standing? These are the kinds of questions that people like uh, reporters like me get excited thinking about. That alone could really change the dynamic of this debate. I mean, we've seen in the past when Trump Trump has uh, physically left the podium, walked across the stage, used that to his advantage. Maybe some say he looked bullying in past debates. Uh, but all of these um, sort of details could make a real difference in how the two candidates are able to deliver their message. But so far this morning, it really looks like the president, President Biden, was able to, to have these debates locked in on his terms, Phil. Yeah, you, you are not alone. I was thinking the exact same thing. Couple of news nerds we are. Mary Ellis <laughs> Parks, thanks so much. Always good to see you. And again, Again, just a reminder that debate will be in September, the one in September right here on ABC.